This update pushes Instamat's stellar performance when texturing to new heights, delivering new shading capabilities, improved painting and terrain erosion tools, and better localization support across multiple languages. Let's take a look. This release delivers significant improvements to asset texturing in Instamat Studio, including new shading model support, enhanced performance, and improved painting tools. It is now possible to enable additional channels, such as sheen and clear coat in asset texturing projects. These channels can be added in the Layering Project Editor panel under the Channels section. Utilize clear coat and sheen to visualize high quality surfaces, such as car paint and fabrics. And there's no need to change the shader in the viewport settings. Instamat automatically switches the viewport shader depending on the channels used in the project. Among many features and performance improvements to asset texturing, adding a new layer channel now does not retroactively enable it for all existing layers in the project. This gives you the flexibility to apply specific effects where needed and improves texturing performance. The paint projector has been further improved with new support for clamping the projected image. You can now choose to tile the image or clamp it to the original bounds from the viewport toolbar. And don't forget that you can use the W, E, and R keys to translate, rotate, and scale the projection while painting. You can use the projection reset button to recenter the projection area. The terrain erosion node has been greatly improved with increased realism and consistency across execution resolutions. Now you can quickly build your terrain at a lower resolution, then increase the resolution when you're ready to export for higher visual fidelity while preserving the overall volumes and features of the terrain. Instamat's viewport continues to deliver high quality visuals with improved transparency support. Simply add an opacity channel in an asset texturing or element graph project to better visualize materials such as liquid or glass while creating your 3D assets. The new Mesh Submesh Mask allows separate parts of an object to be masked even when combined into a single mesh. Instamat's powerful Mesh Mask streamlines object masking by allowing you to select and identify separate submeshes in a scene. This method requires that scenes already contained multiple split submeshes. The new Mesh Submesh Mask, however, can distinguish separate components within a combined mesh, eliminating the need to split the mesh into individual pieces. This release also introduces two new grunges, the first grunge, Plastered, is great for adding distress to walls and architectural surfaces. Use the Dissolve parameter to add additional micro detail. The second grunge adds to the Rampage family of grunges with Rampage 3. This complex grunge contains increased micro detail variation with scratches, brushed effects, tearing, and spots. In addition to new grunges, there's also a new noise. The cloud's spots noise is great for creating realistic breakup, and when used in combination with the iterate node, you can build your own spots grunges. This release also introduces improved localization for German, Italian, Spanish, Japanese, and Korean. The language used in Instamat Studio's UI can be configured in the Preferences panel under the Interface tab. Instamat continues to focus on both power and usability to ensure artists can create higher quality 3D assets with greater efficiency. To learn more about what's new with Instamat, check out the link for the release notes in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. For the latest news about Instamat, please visit our website, follow us on X, join us on Discord, or sign up for the Abstract community. You can find all the links in the video description below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.